Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we're working on page eight, page eight. And we have two flaps, and these flaps are five by eight. You're gonna score a half inch. You're gonna need two, one for each side. We're gonna come in a half inch from the edge and mount these. So we'll start with this one since it already has tape on it. That's one. And then put the tape here. So now we have both our flaps in place, and then inside we're going to put a pocket. This pocket is nine and seven eighths, nine and seven eighths by four and a half. Is that right? Yeah, nine and seven eighths by four and a half, and you're going to score uh, three sides to make your pocket. Okay, it's going to go flush with the bottom of the page. Just making sure my orientation was correct. Oh, and I didn't tell you what the build was. Uh, page, it's page eight, build seven. Page eight, build seven. You know what? I need to move that over a little bit. I've got more of a gap on one side than the other, but I'm going to straighten that out on my own. And it should close fine if you made your pocket page nine and seven eighths and you scored those half inches all the way around. And I, I just put it too close to the score line over here, so I'm going to nudge it over. I'm going to use my undo to do that. And I think I've shown you, you guys this before. This stuff is amazing. Um, it will, you have to let it set for a few minutes, but it will release the tape. You have to use a generous amount, um, especially since it has to go through the top and then get to the tape underneath. Give it a few minutes and then I'll be able to release it. And um, I do have to let it dry completely before I lay my pocket back down, but I can use the same pocket. Um, it's just amazing. I don't know how it works, but it will release the tape, not glue, just tape. So I'm going to let that set and I will come back and, and uh, recenter it, but I'm going to do that offline, but I'm going to let it uh, soak in for a few minutes. Okay. Thanks everybody. I'll be back soon and we'll decorate this. Alrighty. I'm back. Here we go. Can't remember if I recorded this, but I used the um, patterns and solids for the A side of the flap. I think I may have already done that with you guys online. I chose uh, the snowflakes for the left and right, and then we're gonna use this um, eight by eight sheet right here in the middle. So patterns and solids, and then eight by eight. Thank you. 
pretty. I like it. I like it. I don't normally think of red and snowflakes, but I think it's pretty. Okay, that's page seven, build seven. Okay, I'll be back shortly with page eight. Hey everyone, it's Daphne and we're back and we're working on page eight, page eight. So page eight is the same as um, page one. So we've got these two flats and a pocket inside. This is from the 12 by 12 collection pack. And I really like this pattern, but I used it on page one, so I can't repeat. Um, I feel like this collection was short um, a pattern because um, they had two cut apart sheets instead of just the one. So they had the strips and then they also had the one that's cut apart it's like ephemeras tags. So we're going to keep this one simple and we're going to dress it up with an ephemera card on the front. Okay. Uh, let's scoot over just a little bit. Okay. Oops. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to put a magnet here. And then we're going to have this ephemera card. So the magnet needs to be right about there. Okay, I'm going to test that one more time. Make sure it's not too close to the edge. Actually, I'm going to, I'm going to nudge it over a little bit more. It's a little too far over, I think. Then I've got these strips, which are the um, flip side, but it's from the 8x8, and this was from the 12x12. Well, that looks like it's the right way. And these are just under a half inch. I'll make sure that my flap still functions. Yeah, I think it's this way. Have to put that on upside down. Okay, 
So now we're ready to do the inside. This is from the Patterns and Solids. It's going to go in and line the back of the pocket. from Patterns and Solids. Okay, and then these two are from the 8x8 eight eight collection pack. And it looks like I need to trim them down, they're a little too tall. Somehow I got one trimmed but not the other one. Now we're all set. Everything looks good. Okay, now we're ready to cardstock back this and we're going to place it and then uh, we'll find locate our magnet. So I need to put um, the magnets on this side. So this is the side that's going to be exposed. So I'm going to go ahead and glue it down. Then I'm going to cut a piece of designer cardstock to cover the half that's exposed. So I'm going to trim out a piece of uh, uh, designer cardstock to go right here. And then we're going to locate our magnet. We can do the magnet right now. And we're just about done with page. Whoops. Eight. Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna go get a piece of paper to go right here. Okay, I picked this um, scrap that I had left over from this, which is from the Patterns and Solids. There we go. Okay, that is page eight. Okay, when we get back together, we'll be working on the cover.